It's for science. Yep. Okay. Jeff, uh, it's a huge honor for me. Like a couple of years ago, I was watching videos of American Ninja Warrior. I was inspired by uh, you and all the top athletes like crushing the courses and it was amazing. And uh, you are actually the first one who uh, hit all six brothers and uh, reached the total victory, which is like insanely hard. I think it's kind of a life achievement. How, how did you feel? It feels great. It's, it's also super tiring, right? I mean, you have to give your absolute maximum. You have adrenaline running through your body and you have to be able to deal with that and stay calm, collected, and just keep pushing forward. Because when you do Ninja Warrior, a little secret is you pretty much film them on the same night back to back and you end up doing stage four, at least when I did it, at five o'clock in the morning. And you've been there since, you know, 4 p.m. It's, it's a long night with a lot of adrenaline and just how do you manage that? I didn't do it very well. I was over gripping, just doing terrible in obstacles, but somehow I managed to get through it. Train hard and you got the result and it's something that like motivates you. I think it's like something that like <laughs> make you feel alive. Yes, it's like it's like a dream coming true. That's great. I, yeah. I like my congrats to you. It's like it's amazing and it's a, actually I feel honored to spend <laughs> time with you and especially have a uh, opportunity to learn how you actually e improve your grip strength, your finger strength, and uh, yeah. I really appreciate uh, that you share experience with me. So today we are going to do the finger grip strength forearm, forearm workout. Popeye, they call yeah. you like a Popeye? Yeah, like the big, big, the big forearms. forearms. Look <laughs> at this. Good look at his forearms. They are huge. He's Popeye. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. So uh, what's first? Warm up, warm up or? Warm up. Okay, we're warm. Yeah. We're actually warm. Look at my fingers. We did a bunch of video. But it is very important to warm up. You always have to warm up, especially when you're doing anything with your shoulders, mm -hmm. fingers. You have to warm up. We're already okay. warm here. So yeah, the sure. tendon injuries is yes. a very shitty problem to have. So I do a lot of, I'll do my finger rolls, finger stretches, forwards and backwards. And then I actually do what I call like the one hand claps a lot. And I find what works really well for me is actually doing them at extension. So I'll do it out here. I'll warm up my shoulders when I do them. I'll do my arm circles. And the whole time you're kind of warming up your forearms, giving them a little pump, and it really helps to get the blood flowing and make sure you're not gonna get injured. When I do like this, my left shoulder is killing me. Really? Yeah. Oh. I have a love room to you. Oh no. It's okay. But yeah, this is how I used to train mm -hmm. all the time. We call these the power slopers. Mm -hmm. I love it. And you can do so many different things on them. I think they're great for just building that raw, pure power. You can jump between them. You can do really slow one arm moves. You can just go up and down for numbers, see how many laps you can do. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that the first exercise is powerful and explosive because this is the source that ends faster. What's the task? Sure, we'll just do some doubles. So this is a little double. Little double. Moves like this are gonna teach you a lot of control. Oh. It's actually a little bit like, feel like a plastic thing. Maybe the holes are new and it feels like a little bit slippery, but it's fun. I'm tired. You're tired? <laughs> no, no. So first exercise, how many sets, how many reps? I would typically do that once, drop at the bottom, and then repeat it five or six times until I really start to feel fatigued. I try not to go to failure, just to fatigue. I think I will do two sets, it will be my fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. Ooh, the last one is sleek. Yeah, it's fine, I'm fine, no fatigue yet. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, the last one is sleek. <laughs> okay, that's, that's where everybody three. holds it. Oh, that's three. You, you can also do this with a friend and then get your rest that way. So one person goes, the other person goes and see how long you can go for. Yeah, team workout uh, with a partner it really helps. Sometimes it helps, but sometimes I feel that the workout, something private, and sometimes you just want to spend time with yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, different, well, different. And I think I'm ready for it. Yeah, it's fourth one, right? <laughs> Thank you.
think my record up and down, just not skipping, just hand over hand, was like 60. Oh, I think I saw it on Instagram. There's like ridiculous amount of moves. Sometimes you have a moment when you feel that you're strong or that you have some capacity of strength or skill and you meet people and you understand that you're like, no, nope, you, you're huh? done, you're done. <laughs> no, I mean like, I never was like, well, well, I knew that I'm not capable to do like, but sometimes see people perform so easily and light, it's like, wow, so motivating. Huh. That was sick, that was like very light. Again. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so second exercise is slower uh, pulls up, right? Yep. How many sets? Four. Four sets? Yep. Up and down? Yep. Or well, just up? Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. As slow as you can. You can hold the lock up, hold it. Yes. <laughs> Good. You try and hold that lock up as long as you can. Yep. Good job. Ooh. Yes. Fatigue. And then the real trick. Fatigue. <laughs> you're doing it is to actually. Yeah, pull. Pull a little when you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. I try to pull, but. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely, genuinely try to pull, but it didn't pull. <laughs> Yep, that's sick. <laughs> so cool. Four sets? Yep. I think I will fail. You got it. No, I mean like failure is fine, right? Absolutely. I mean like... It means you're getting better. When, yeah, when I do something like this, similar, I always like seeking for failure. Yes, good. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. You're doing great. That's hard. You're doing great. It is. That's yep. hard. Yep. But no rest. Let's go. This one is trailer. These, these are great because they don't hurt your fingers. They're very curved. So you're not carrying your skin up, you're not hurting your hands. It just feels good. Okay, last one. Last one, come on. Nice. <laughs> yes! Uh, good job. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a simple upper body and forearm workout that you can do if you have something similar to this. It's a lot of climbing gyms have it, a lot of ninja gyms will have it. If you can find one, it's great to work on your power, endurance. And I think that the fact that it's slopers, it's not her fingers, finger tendons mm -hmm. at all. I didn't feel like, yeah. I just feel forearms. Yep, yeah, uh, look at these forearms, solid. I'm trying to, <laughs> uh, you're not pumped. You need the, the muscle there. Yeah, I need muscle. <laughs> Where did you get this one? I don't know. Pinching, <laughs> pinching. Oh yeah, I'm stuck at pinching. Yeah. I never got shoulder problems. One of the big things I did was scapular pulls. Scapular pulls are really simple. You're hanging at full extension and you're just using your shoulders, not your muscles engaging to pull yourself up slightly. And it really helps get that extra two inches in a pull. Oh, let's do a short list. Haha, ha, you can. I can. Look at sure. this guy. It's for science. Yep. Okay. I'm extended, right? Yep. Extend Without down. bending your arms. Here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do I do it right? Absolutely. I feel that I just flex in my lats now. <laughs> well, if you didn't see the scapular pull up, 
<laughs> comment and yeah, correct, it's fine. I just need to learn more. A pure burnout for what I call power endurance. So that's just hand over hand until you can't do anymore. Hand over hand, I have yeah. no idea what does that mean. So no, no matching, <laughs> One half the other. no matching, just like you're on the monkey bars. Like a letter, okay, Yep. until you can't. It looks so weightless. It, it feels like it's a jug, but it's kind of jug, but it's more sloper jug. I'm pretty sure this sloper swore is squared, and huh. it's just like <laughs> before. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, well, let's talk more walk. Ah, come on, Anton. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Nice. It's like an escalator. No, I slipped. Yeah. I didn't tire. Choke. <laughs> oh, okay, now I'm tired. Good. Come on, one more. You got it. Nice. Way to finish strong. But yeah, that really a... help with everything. <laughs> and you do it like the last exercise is the just once till failure. Yes. Yep. Well, doesn't sound like a torture. <laughs> uh, and forearms is not a big muscles, so I'm pretty sure that I mean pumped a little bit. I pumped. Forearms is not a big muscles, so it's not require like 40 minutes workout, right? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Yeah, you can just. Get a form work on pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, I bud. really appreciate it. Uh, guys, check out Instagram, and if you want to see some cool stuff, learn basics, I mean, feel free to text. And Absolutely, ask. yep. Yeah, and again, stay safe, healthy, positive, uh, train hard, and enjoy your time. Absolutely. Yeah. Live your life. Thank you, yeah. Good job. <laughs>